Cosmology is lost. That is, we have really no idea why the Big Bang happened, what happened before it, or even if it makes sense to ask those questions. I just finished reading The Battle of the Big Bang by Niyash Afshorti and Phil Halper, and no, this isn't an ad. Despite publishing in cosmology myself, I'm still early enough in my career that I just don't know the whole playing field. In my view, this book is the first of its kind to provide a high-level overview of so many different proposed models for where our universe came from, and it does a damn good job. But you didn't stick around for a book review, you stayed because you wanted me to elaborate on what I meant by cosmology is lost. In the book, no fewer than 25 different models, all claiming to explain the Big Bang, are presented. While the details of each of them and their histories are presented in great depth in the meat of the book, there's an excellent cheat sheet summarizing the different models discussed at the end, and I can assure you I will definitely be referencing this table in the future. Anyway, of the models presented, only one of them definitively has a beginning, and eight of them might have a beginning. The rest are either eternal in the past, cyclic, or otherwise beginningless. And the authors didn't cherry-pick either. They write that they find it striking to think of how many of the leading architects of today's cosmology now believe the universe to be eternal into the past. The trouble is, just saying the universe is past eternal doesn't actually tell us what was before the Big Bang. The past eternal models presented in this book, of which there are at least 15 or so, depending on how you interpret them, are all distinct from each other. Many of them make overlapping falsifiable predictions, most of which rise or fall in the spectrum of primordial gravitational waves, but we just don't have access to that data yet, so it's very challenging to rule out any of them empirically. So yeah, cosmology is a very hard science, made especially so because it's so young. Our technology has made incredible strides that allow us to probe a few features of the very early universe in the last century, so we can make some inferences about the Big Bang, but compared to other sciences, it's just not much data to work with. So next time someone says the Big Bang proves the universe had a beginning, just recommend this book to them. I know I will.